Now, sir, let us move to next concept, equations. Equations. Every time, four to five questions you will get from this chapter. Minimum four questions and a maximum of five questions you will get from this chapter. Now, this equations chapter. Now, we are studying this oh, equations chapter under the heading linear equation, quadratic equation and cubic equation. This linear equation again with one variable, with two variables. With one variable and with two variables we have. Example of one variable ax plus b equal to 0. Two variables ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Two variables ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Okay. Now quadratic equation means. ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. <clears throat> and a is not equal to 0. Let us go to cubic equation. ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equal to 0 and a is not equal to 0 is an example for cubic equation. Okay, sir. So, this equations chapter we are studying under three headings linear equation, cubic equation and quadratic equation. Linear equation with one variable, linear equation with two variables. A linear equation with one variable is ax plus b equal to 0. A linear equation with two variables is ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Then we have quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. a is not equal to 0. Cubic equation ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equal to 0, a is not equal to 0 is a cubic equation. This way we have this one. Exercise 1a one to 1e one e, linear equation, sorry, 2a to 2e linear equation, 2f 2g 2h quadratic equation, 2i cubic equation. Then we have a separate discussion on matrices. That is matrix algebra. Okay, sir. Now let us first go to linear equation. Okay, sir. Linear equation. First, I am doing application part. Exercise 2B. Exercise 2B. 
पेज नंबर 2.5 पॉइंट फाइव आई सी ए मेटीरियल एक्सरसाइज टू बी पेज नंबर टू पॉइंट फाइव आई सी ए मेटीरियल ओपन युअर मेटीरियल सर आई एम नाट रईटिंग द क्वेश्चन फस्ट क्वेश्चन सम आफ टू नंबर इज फिफ्टी टू एंड देर डिफरस इज टू ओके वन लाइन सिंपल सिंपल प्रॉब्लम सैल रईट whenever the problem is lengthy one then i'll ask you to see the study material the sum of two numbers the sum of two numbers is 52 and uh, their difference is 2 the numbers are dash sum of two numbers let a comma b be the two numbers given a plus b is equal to 52 A minus B is equal to two. Difference of the two numbers is fifty-two. Two A is equal to fifty-four. A is equal to twenty-seven. A plus B is equal to fifty-two. B is equal to fifty-two minus A. Fifty-two minus twenty-seven, twenty-five. A comma B is equal to twenty seven comma twenty five. This you can verify through options also. This you can verify through options also, sir. But I am solving so that you will get the concept properly. Next question number two. The diagonal of a rectangle The diagonal of a rectangle is 5 cm and one of its sides is 4 cm its area is question mark its area is question mark look at the question sir the diagonal of a rectangle is 5 cm and one of its sides is 4 cm its area is question mark its area is question mark now look at this this is my rectangle ac is its diagonal ac is its diagonal diagonal is given as 5 cm diagonal is given as 5 cm one side is equal to 4 cm let us take the other side as x now abc is a right angle triangle abc is a right angle triangle therefore 
AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So 5 square is equal to X square plus 4 square. Implies X square is 25 minus 69. X is equal to 3. So the side is calculated as a 3. The side is calculated as a 3 centimeters. Now area is equal to length into breadth sir. 3 centimeters into 4 centimeters. 12 centimeters square. 12 centimeters square. Look at the question. For a rectangle diagonal is given. Length of a diagonal is given 5 centimeters. One side is given as 4 centimeters. You can take 4 centimeters this side also. No problem. Now sir. ABC. ABC is a right angle triangle. ABC is a right angle triangle. So I can use Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. So from this you will get X is equal to 3. X is equal to 3. Area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth. 3 centimeters into 4 centimeters. This is 12 centimeters square. Okay. Now let us move to question number 3. Let us move to question number 3. Divide 56 into 2 parts such that 3 times the first part 3 times the first part exceeds 1 third of the second One third of the second by 48. One third of the second by 48. The two parts are dash. This is my question, sir. Divide 56 into two parts such that three times the first part exceeds one third of the second by 48. The two parts are dash. Now look at this. X comma 56 minus X be the two parts. X comma 56 minus X be the two parts. One third of first is greater than No. 3 times the first part exceeds. 3 into first part is greater than 3 times the first part exceeds 1 third of second part by 48. This is what given. 3 into first part is greater than 1 third of the second by 48. So 3x is greater than 1 by 3 into 56 minus x plus 4 by 40. Now look at this sir. Left hand side is greater than right hand side by 48. Left hand side is greater than right hand side by 48. So when I add 48 on the right hand side, when I add 48 on the right hand side, okay, left hand side is equal to right hand side, both are equal. So this is 3x is equal to 1 by 3 into 56 minus x plus 48. 56 minus x 
3 into 48 by 3, then I take calcium. Fifty six minus X plus one forty four by three is equal to three X. Now, sir, cross multiply here three X into three is equal to two hundred minus X. 9x is equal to 200 minus x. 10x is equal to 200, x is equal to 20. Then I cross multiply here, this 3 will go to the numerator. 3x into 3 is equal to 200 minus x. Bring minus x to the left hand side. 10x is equal to 200, x is equal to 20. Therefore, The two parts are 20 comma 36. The two parts are 20 comma 36. Okay. This is the solution to this one. Simple sir. For simple problems I am not giving explanation two times. But whenever any tough problem comes then I will take up two times explanation okay let's go to the next question question number four question number four the sum of the digits of the sum of the digits of a two digit number the sum of the digits of a two digit number is a 10 if 18 is subtracted if 18 is subtracted from it The digits in the resulting number the digits in the resulting number will be equal the digits in the reversing Resulting number will be equal. Then the number is question mark. Okay, sir. I want a two digit number, sir. Let XY be the two digit number. Any number from 10 to 99 is a two digit number. Any number from 10 to 99 is a two digit number. So I am taking XY. What is the first condition given here, sir? X plus Y is equal to 10. First condition is X plus Y is equal to 10. Second condition XY minus 18 is equal to. This way you will get a two digit number. So, what I am writing here, tens place number is equal to units place number. Units place number. This is what the question is saying. It means it may be 11, it may be 22, it may be 33, it may be 44, etc. It may be 99. In these numbers only, units place number is equal to tens place number. Okay, better. Now, solving this problem in a descriptive way, you will get confusion if I take same letter here. Therefore, let me take the options. Option A, 37. First condition, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. 
थर्टी सेवन माइनस एटीन थर्टी सेवन माइनस एटीन इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी टेन्थ प्लेस नंबर इज वन हियर टेन्थ प्लेस नंबर इज वन दिस इज नॉट इक्वल टू यूनिट्स प्लेस नंबर Units place number. So option A is not the answer. Let us move to option B. Seventy-three. First condition. Seven plus three is equal to ten. Next. Seventy-three minus eighteen is equal to fifty-five. Tens place number. Is equal to units place number. Tens place number is equal to units place number. Therefore, option B satisfied both the conditions. Option B satisfied both the conditions. That is the answer to the given question. That is the answer to the given question. Okay, sir.